Tonight on Eyewitness News, this story. I, just, I want them to know that they have it all available, that they don't have to sit and suffer without the, the resources that they need. Stopping the violence and providing opportunities for young people on the shoreline. That's the goal of a new center that officially opened its doors today in New Haven. Channel 3's Aya Galal shows us how organizers hope this facility will make a difference. It's being called a life-saving center. This building is home to the Connecticut Violence Intervention Program, an organization working tirelessly to combat gun violence and help keep youth engaged. So we want to be able to have a place for them to come, to be able to feel safe, to be able to open themselves up and you know, release just some of the things that they're going through, have a safe place to come, because some kids don't have a safe place to go. And people like Kayla Law know the pain of violence all too well. My brother, he was uh, murdered in an attempted robbery, and my boyfriend was murdered in a drive-by shooting. But a community outreach worker named Leonard Jihad helped her through those trying times. Personally, in my experience, I felt really alone. Like, I just, I didn't have the things I needed. And then to have that available, to know that there are people that really genuinely care and really want to do everything in their power to help, it's, it's comforting. Community outreach workers here are mentoring kids around the clock. Our job is not a five-day job, it's a seven-day job. Right. We are, we're working 24 hours a day, we're on clock, three or four o'clock in the morning. If there's, a, if there's an incident, we have to report to the hospital. With the grand opening today, the center on Ashman Street is now offering expanded programs, including a music studio and music therapy. We have uh, games, but they have to do good in school, do their homework before they're able to play the games and do things like that. And New Haven police say they cannot fight violence in the Elm City alone. Our motto is we want you safe, alive, and out of jail. So violence has gone down in New Haven and arrests have gone down in New Haven because of organizations like you and people like you guys. And something else the governor and several organizers mentioned today is that they hope centers like this can open up in other parts of the state. Reporting in New Haven, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Aya,